Okay. Ready to check. Radio is good. Now we're just going to run this down and... I think we, yeah, we only have a set for each session. The risky strategy. Oh, I forgot to change their engines. Can we start this over? I rushed into it. <laughs> Duh, use the newer stuff. I just sat there talking about it and then I just didn't. Okay. Now we're good. And we're just going to run the once. Okay, radio check again, Mick. I've been getting into Q3, but I think that streak might be coming to an end. Based on our practice numbers. I guess one can never say for sure. Good thing it auto saves at the beginning of the session, otherwise I'd be like... I was just obsessed with getting it done fast. Alright, we got through. Cool. Now we have scrubs, so it's fine. Radio check, Kevin. Radio is good. Yeah, I think we're just gonna need two sets of mediums. I could try to get away with not using just straight up not using the uh, extra softs either. Did somebody spin out there? Mick has to. I can try to get Magnuson through. Difference of 2.4 seconds, huh?
Alright guys. Degradation is going to be like ridiculous. Get that tire on and get out there. Doesn't seem like it'd be particularly useful to me because these tires will uh, cross over after 15 with the mediums. Botas just barely. Drivers are strapping themselves in, ready for race day. Has proved quite resourceful during qualifying. That puts them in a very good position to make the most of this race start. We didn't see any unexpected prowess from Alpine during qualifying, but they did well for themselves. Everything's still open to them for the race. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain... I thought this was a night race. Well, we've got some fascinating strategies that are sure to be applied today. But for now, all eyes shift to the starting line of the Singapore Grand Prix. I think it's a two-stop, soft, medium, medium. Oh. <laughs> Actually, um... Point seven. That takes 20, 30. It takes a lot of laps. Uh, Mick gets two softs. Magnuson as well. Ooh, the hard tire is apparently quicker.
Um, new stint. Twenty six seconds. Okay. Twenty seven seconds, twenty eight. Trying to find the sweet spot. Strategy B looks good to me. Okay. Magnuson. It's going to be a little bit harder here because Magnuson's set is scrubbed. It's a little bit slower. Looks like we start on the scrub. Okay. Whoops. That gets us to optimum. All right. Let's start it up. With the sky is mostly clear, tonight's race shouldn't hold any unpleasant surprises. There we see Kevin Magnuson, a top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? And it's Schumacher as the second driver today. No, the the grid, nobody really went for two stops. Our crew didn't, at least. Ready to go. I think tire degradation is just too bad. And this is, is, is such a thing the here. Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. Alright, we're fifth. Everyone has started. Everyone has started on the softs. Nice work, Kev. Pass with an overtake there. Mick is getting to 38. We're at a boat test chasing Mercedes. That's exciting. Started in ninth. I guess there were a lot of grid penalties behind.
How are our temperatures looking? It doesn't look like Botas is gonna be too big of a DRS is enabled, DRS is enabled. It doesn't look like Botas is gonna be too much of an issue for me. Boat push. Go for that. Uncharted territory against the AI. Can't really say where they're going or what they're doing. I was trying to get into DRS range so I can kind of stay attached to these Mercedes and or this Mercedes in front. All right, we need to stop pushing. Fastest lap. That's nuts. Give me a little bit of push here, guys. Yeah, I'm basically trying to use Russell to tow off of. Right, 
Around the outside. Oh no, why would you give up? I just need to bide our time with Mick. I guess I'll a little extra engine power here. No more lift and coast. Just that slight bit more engine, hopefully, can get us what we're looking for. Not quite. I think we can get Norris napping, we can get Ghastly. But it is kind of conditional, we have to actually make the overtake. We're going to be stuck back here a while. They're trying to sell out for this. Alright, we're on the inside. Just a lot of concession here. Okay, more lifting coast, please. Copy. I don't know if we have a legitimate shot of overtaking Russell.
Normalize. Let's see what we can do. All right, hit deploy. Got it. Nice work, Kev. Pass with an overtake. Let's see how our car likes running. Magnus and Snag's the fastest lap. Alright, let's see if we can maintain with um neutral now. This could be difficult. if we can hold. George Russell is 6% behind on tire wear. I like seeing that. I think we're going to pit Mick at 19 and Magnuson at 20. 
Hey, AJB, how you doing? These side pod upgrades are looking pretty good. The pig from 1377. Thank you for the follow, sir. Much appreciated. We're kind of holding station at, um... This is frustrating to watch Mick just struggle here. Our speed to the Mercedes is looking pretty consistent. Can take over now, sorry for being late. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Um, I've got us on two, a, a two-stop strategy. Soft, soft to medium. You can modify that in the various strategies however you want from this point. I was planning to pit Mick on 19 and uh, Magnuson on 20 because uh, Mick has two fresh softs and uh, Magnuson only has one, the starting tire. Looks like Russell might be selling out to try to get to DRS. Yeah, Norris, Norris and Gasly are running a bit of a DRS train that's kind of blocking your progress. I tried to get by, but it didn't really work out. So I just kind of been holding station with both my drivers here for the most part. Although I did make I did make an overtake move on Russell. This track is brutal. Let's see if we can remove the lift and coast and get away from Russell here. I'm going to prioritize that over the uh, fuel load. Hey, 
Then, excuse me. Dad. You might have a shot if Norris falls out of DRS. He's not really falling out of DRS, which is the problem. Looks like our strategy to leave Russell in the dust is kind of working. Kind of. Verstappen's pitting very early. Alright, we're seeing some medium tires here. Max is on hards. I think that's the pit window for the one stopper. And I didn't like that strategy with the uh, tire degradation. You got Norris pinning out of your way and uh, Max Verstappen between you and Gasly. That's interesting. I just want to get the gap up to two seconds. Okay. Gasly is the cork in the bottle. Let's see what Signs is doing. Looks like mediums. That's also a thing going to the end. Magnuson's leading the race. Magnuson is actually leading the race. We could be watching the future of F1. Gasly's starting to get away a little bit. <sighs> I 
K Mag is leading. We'll be done with Mick in a couple of months. Russell's pitting, Botas is pitting, Gasly is pitting. I think every I think most of the field is actually going to try to one stop. And I don't think that's going to work. Do you have tips for beginner in this game? Yes, do a lot of screen staring. There's a lot to learn in this game. It's very, very complex. But the learning process can be very fun. Uh, we got a spin. Who spun? Let's take a look. Joe at the crashed. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Oh, teammates. Oh. A definite collision there. That's very unfortunate. Uh, Roxa, Roxa, your, your question is also kind of open-ended. Um, if there's anything specific you want to know, I can definitely guide you in the right direction if you're not sure. Oh yeah, I love to I love to watch the whole race. It's probably no practical reason to do this from a gameplay perspective. I just enjoy it. I'm definitely going to be staying out a little bit longer. Well, lap 20. After that, I don't think it makes much sense. Uh, the best way to get your car set up good is to um, run long enough to get feedback um, from your drivers, which is usually using around 30 kilograms of fuel, maybe a little bit more sometimes. And then adjust your setup and then repeat. And the more you acclimatize with the track, the, the slimmer the setup margin gets. It actually becomes easier to, to like hit the higher, the higher tiers of the setup. Or you can just ask AJB, who's played the game a ton and ha has setups in memory, it seems. But yeah, like the setup, the, the setup bars, I believe, are directly influenced by acclimatization, which is how long you're out on track and not like the five out of five thing. I set them up to learn, like to generally go out long enough to give feedback. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter, and I try to adjust for that. A lot of times, I am shooting in the dark. Okay. Lost your position there. Keep pushing. We're. Oh, uh, you got overtaken by signs. That ain't a big deal. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. 
Let's have a look. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. Yeah, I usually just wing it. I haven't had too much trouble getting setups that I'm happy with. Big move for them, and a race position gained. And the team had but if you know your previous setups, then that definitely helps helps as a starting point. All right, AJB, when do you want to pit and what do you want to pit to? How do I plan what next to research? Um, that's hard to say because there's no one answer, one right answer for that. Oh, I need to... I actually need to get in there. Box, box. Oh, he missed it. Copy box. Uh, you're staying out. Proved its usefulness at the Dutch Grand Prix. And staying out a long time. Okay. So you're going to one stop. Very deep. Do you know about how long you're staying out? I guess you could actually do another 20 laps pretty easily. Uh, for R&D, uh, Strategy, um, yeah. Let's hit the pause button. Pit window is 17 to 23. I assume you're one stopping onto the mediums at some point here. Although I guess the hards are practical too. You want Williams to be number one? Yeah, I've, I've just been doing like uh, R&D upgrades on the back end. Uh, what lap for the mediums? Let me see if I can... Why is it not letting me go in and edit these? Uh, if your car can go to the halfway point, I would say lap 29, and then you could go in for the, uh, the mediums. I, I would usually say that you should um, run the harder compound about two laps longer. But that's just me. Uh, if you're one stopping, the hard tire might actually even be slightly better than the medium. Because I think it's like 0.4 and they cross over at like 15 laps. So if you're running a long time, I think even the hards might even be the better tire. But what's annoying, you'll go for a while and box for mediums. Okay. 
Once it comes off of your pit window, I think we can actually modify the strategy. But on upgrades, I've just been upgrading the back end and focusing on the front and rear wing. And it's like in the latter half of the, the season, I've started getting around to upgrading and do like some of the, like the side pause, the underfloor and starting to research towards next year. But it's hard to say if that's right or if that's the fastest way to get better. Because I don't have anything to compare it to. This is like my first playthrough. Oh, that was a slow stop. They'll let me know in the box later. Now, Russell's on mediums. Someone's crashed. Lance Stroll. So this was the Aston Martin. <laughs> terrible news for the team. Stroll just being bad. I think I need to harvest for a while. Copy. Strolling into the wall. I love that one. That's a great one. I am committing to the two-stop strategy, so we'll see how our strategies converge here. Feel the pressure yet, Russell? It, it, it would be coming up for you if we had a safety car in the next couple of laps. The crossover between mediums and softs is something like 30 laps. So I'm just going to be faster than, than Russell. Just straight up quicker.
And now I think I'm free to harvest because I think he's going to struggle to stay with me. Okay, good job. That's one. Is that a new race position for Haas? Oh, you piece of crap. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Charge off. Copy that. I need to be ahead of them so I can rear guard for you a little bit. Overtake. Preferably before Russell gets into DRS of uh, my teammate. Really? I probably can harvest now. Charge on. Copy. Yeah, at least it is somewhat difficult to overtake here.
it's a race position gained for Mercedes. This is a nightmare for me. A goddamn nightmare. Charge on, please. Copy that. I don't want to use team orders because you got Botas that you're racing behind now too. So I just need to buck up and make the overtake clean. Oh no, I understand that. You're racing Botas. Push fuel, okay. We will go to high fuel now. That's good. I'm gonna try to keep you in DRS for as long as I can. Hopefully pushing fuel will will do it. Russell is being a real SOB. I'm always ready to drive at you again, Mag, or Russell. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was annoying because I did not plan for him to uh, to overtake is available if you need it. To actually catch up to and it pass me. Take off the fuel use. Try to do some lifting coast. Okay. Copy. Um, you pit in soon? I'm just what I'm just wondering Crow is now following welcome to the channel sir Not that soon. Around five, oh yeah. Consider it better off to Run the softs into the ground on a one stopper. I guess you will have a bit of a tire advantage when you finally do go in. See if I can make things uncomfortable for Russell. Hello, Crow. How you doing, man? Fine, I'm doing well. It's a little weekend F1 action. Having a blast. That's good, right? Even if just barely. You know what you are doing is you are frustrating Botas, Botas's race and Alpine.
Alright, let's okay. deploy into Russell. I'm feeling the pressure with Leclerc getting close. Okay, we're still okay. Oh, you did finally lose the position to Botas. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. Let's just get into a rhythm. Hamilton and Perez is six seconds behind. Mercedes moved up a place. Full push fuel and tires, gotcha. If you don't need it, no lifting coast. Copy. I am going a little aggro to try to catch. I want Russell to feel the pressure. No DRS, huh? Severe tire overheating. God damn it, Magnuson. Okay, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy that. Charge on. Copy that. Charge off. Copy.
charge on. Copy that. Charge off. Copy. Four dots, okay. We need to back off. Copy. Come on, K Mag, catch him and stay with him. Box, okay. All neutral, okay. Yes, pull me in. Oh, he did it at the end of the zone. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. All right, you're neutral. He should have a massive traction advantage on Norris. Good job. Pass with an overtake there. I ain't got no chance against Ferrari. Rapidly catching Ghastly now. It looks like you got right around 30% advantage to the other soft runners. I need to charge my tires up to the pit lap now. Or charge my battery, rather, sorry. My only real hope is to come out blistering. Coming up on catching Russell. That's just not going to be a thing. Uh, hards are at 77 to 80. 
81. Elkan's got the best there. You're ahead of him. Mediums are 71 to about 65. You're about 30% better than than everyone else on that tire. And 20% than hards. I'm about to take fresh mediums myself. It looks like we're going to emerge in eighth. Hey, Daz, how you doing, man? Whoa. Okay, this is the optimal lap for pitting with our current strategy. Box, Kevin, box. Copy, box. How is the team? In sixth, fighting for fourth. Uh, do we ha do we get live constructors? Yeah, currently at ten points, six behind Alpine live points, and uh, thirteen behind Alpha R Romeo. Man, I just ended up slower than Russell. Here's our stop. Second. Oh, great tires. My tires are in pristine condition compared to the AI. Looks like we're 15 adrift of Botas. And we are fully charged on the battery. Yeah, that, that I think has shanked our live points. Now we're 12 and 21 behind.
couple of good research upgrades and we might be challenging Mercedes next year. Um, we're going to replace Mick Schumacher. I'm not sure with who yet. Okay, that's our outlap. And then we're going to want a new, a uh, uh, higher improving reserve driver. But I haven't finalized anything on that front whatsoever. Mick is just proving to be too slow. K-Mag is pretty quick, if somewhat unreliable. Forty-three-three and Botas is fourteen. Him and Lewis are fourteen even. Sergio is actually faster than us, which is ridiculous. You're actually arriving on the back of Gasly right now. And Gasly... Yeah, 29% tire wear advantage. That's pretty good. I think I'm looking to sign some combination of Logan Sargent and Jack Doohan into Schumacher and the reserve slot, respectively. I really found candidates that are overpoweringly better.
American driver for American team. I like Doohan better, but I can groom him to replace Magnuson too. So that ain't a big deal to me. Pass with an overtake. Alright, and you're gonna catch Alonzo pretty rapidly here now too. Yeah, I think AJB might want Sergeant as the uh, as the the uh, number two driver. How are we doing? Looks like we got a clean second per lap on most of these cars. It's kind of what we need to see. We need Perez to be, it would work for us if Perez got by these guys, otherwise we're going to be in a DRS train. So I would prefer for them to actually, for Perez to actually be moving up the field. Hamilton's tires are starting to fall apart. Mixed tire temps. Yeah, it looks like you're doing okay. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm struggling too. We we need to get some cooling onto this car. Come on, Perez, get him. He's gonna get it. He stopped! Why did he stop? Oh my god. And he's sliding behind again. He's weaving. <laughs> He's losing ground to Botas defending.
He really shouldn't be fighting this overtake. It's not doing him any good. Yeah, and that Red Bull is gonna... The hard tires are just getting grippier versus the, the worn mediums. All right, we got Mick behind Alonzo now, too. Looks like that it overtake on a lot. Uh, come on. Using that tire grip, easy overtake. Good job. Is that a new race position for Haas? Really need to give this game a second chance. Didn't enjoy it. Hamilton gets DRS. Wholly undeserved, but there it is. <laughs> oh, God! It's gonna frustrate. Didn't like all the scripted messages. Kind of felt non-responsive. It's felt pretty responsive to me for the most part. Also, I imagine if you start with Williams, the progression is very slow. Because you literally have to build up from being the, the worst team. Maybe the patch has helped. Possible. I bought this game very late in this life cycle. I just picked Williams because um, everybody I knew or was watching that played this started with Williams. And I thought Aston Martin would be too easy. Aston, Alpha, like any of those two teams. Haas is kind of a financial mess when you when you grab them. And their headquarters are just terrible. I need you to get by, Perez. Otherwise, I might need to send one. I've just been, like, throwing my money into HQ upgrades when I can and uh, working on sponsor attractiveness, hoping to improve that next season, too. Oh, here we go. 
Hamilton is passed. Oh, man. We're actually very getting quite close to Mercedes in performance at times. Ooh, fastest lap. I like it. Lewis is going to get a little bit of a pace boost temporarily, but I think Perez is going to say see you later pretty quick. We'll see. Botas isn't too far up the road either. I think Russell's too far ahead for me. Sad Panda. Forty six percent for Lewis. My car is in the way. Botas is at fifty, Russell's at fifty. Come on, Perez, get get a second ahead. He's still getting that rear wing flap. It's annoying. The more tired I arrive on the scene with, the better. It's a real pleasure to watch the Red Bull go, though. I don't think Botas is going to be able to stop him. We're at the, we're at the phase of the race where the mediums are in real sorry shape. There he goes.
just how much better off we are with the uh, grip. Pass with an overtake there. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, Lucy's tires are 43%, mine are 79. That's quite a difference. Botas is at 46, so he's not much better off. Let's go to balanced. Russell is at 46%. Sadly, he's probably finishing the race. Let's deploy. All right. Our mediums are in decent shape. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Go for that. I'm going to try to pull in on Perez and see if I can ride him to Russell. That's probably my best shot at this. I don't actually want to overtake Perez. I just want to... I want to ride his pace. I don't think we're fast enough to overtake Perez, but I could be proven wrong. Yeah, that traction is nuts. Maybe Perez makes a mistake? You never know. I 
Yeah, I've done I've done like five specs of wings this season. It's it's nuts. Checo is at fifty nine percent. Surprised by this. Okay, good job. That's one. Six laps remaining. Typical. So we're P6. It's impressive to even be trading blows with the Red Bull at this point. Uh, my DRS is making me look a little faster than I actually am compared to him, too. I sacrificed my battery to run into his, to run into his DRS wake. And I can't harvest because as soon as I do, he's going to pull away. Five laps remaining. I want to see how the order mixes up, if it does at all. Yeah, he's going to take away the outside. Again, we slot behind. Hamilton's tires are at 35%. 
If you push, you might get him, AJB. You might be able to make him worry. Prez gives us the inside. I know already I have to maintain this pace to have any chance of maintaining this position. Three laps remaining. Yeah, Hamilton's tires are teetering. 44.7 to 43.3. Botas is 38, so he's struggling a bit too. Safety car. Safety car. Just get positive on the delta. Um. Did you want to pit AJB? I think the race is gonna finish under a safety car now. Actually. Looks like Vettel's crashed out. I'd be surprised if we um, got any more racing out of this, actually. A little late. But that means my fastest lap is going to stand now, too. Okay, back off. Cut this. Two laps to go. Yeah, the safety car is going to pick up the leader on the final lap. So it's going to finish like this. That's a reprieve for Lewis. Good for me too. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to worry about staying out of Perez now.
starting final lap. Well, you know it's a Singapore Grand Prix because it finished under the safety car. That's insane. Eleven, twelve, thirteen points it looks like we're going to get. Eleven for K Mag, two for Mick. We'll trail Alpine by two and Alfa Romeo Six by. In this lap. Yeah, copy. By what was that, eight? Yeah, eight points. Lap 61, we're going across the finish line. Whatever, we'll, we'll put everything on neutral just in case. Yeah, copy. Okay, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. Uh, I expect it to be reasonably strong, but this strong, not really. Check it, flag. Honestly, man, the car was superb. Yeah, Kevin, you did an awesome job. Okay, Kevin, so obviously box and remember the full switch off procedure when you're stopped. Suzuka, yeah. I'm thinking I'm probably going to... Good job, Mick. I'm probably just going to take a whole new set of components. Engine, ERS, and gearbox. And hopefully that'll be the last time I need to do that this season. They'll take it here because there's no chance of overtaking. Or it's kind of difficult to overtake here. Kevin Magnuson showing us how it's done. A great result. Yeah, Prez just started struggling on that compound a little bit. It looked like when they get to like the second half of their tire life, the traction starts to really go on them. Absolutely on their game today, and the result proves that. And they're in sixth place in the constructor standings at the end of this weekend. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares... I don't know how much that race was genuine strength and the fact that I, that, that I too stopped. Because I was the... Well, Stroll 3 stopped, but I was the only one that actually legitimately too stopped. I do feel like that was the right strategy. But Mick and Magnuson are not equal pace drivers, so beating Mick doesn't really say much for whether my strategy was superior or not. Paying out those bonuses. All right.
Our cooling is eh. Our DRS is like very middle of the road. Cornering is where we've made the most inroads. In the in the low and medium speed specifically. Next contract and soon good. Good, good. Then we just have more side pods coming. We'll have a new rear wing on the 13th after Suzuka. And then I'll start. I think I'm just going to go completely to um, research. Not so much because I don't think that we can't fight for fourth or fifth, but mostly because I think researching is going to do a world more good for us next season. Research over continuing development. So that is just where I'm at on that. Um, yeah, and then we get an underfloor and we'll do another research project. Oh, it looks like we can research through the off season too. Nice. Our uh, research ends in uh, January. And then we don't really have the calendar for next year yet. Prepare for next season. <laughs> All right. Review our race goals. We'll need to re renegotiate these sponsor targets. I assume that we'll be able to. Ooh, gonna be rain. Ooh, we've got 24 million. thinking um, spend on a driver Pierre Gasly I guess I could start looking. Well, I, I have to wait. I'm thinking I want to do this. But I might even wait till, um, well, geez. The engineer capacity is just gonna, for me, that's a big deal. It means we can research a little bit faster. Upgrading a facility improves its grade, condition the effects received from it, and boosts effectiveness back to 100%. The hub of car part and 
research and design. Our project capacity is three. The reason we want to do this is to raise our engineering capacity from 10 to 15. That way we have 15 engineers to, to manage our projects instead of 10, since we're going to be shuffling three. Because managing three with 10, you end up using like three per project, three or four on one, and then three on the other two. But if you have 15, now you can start to research things a little bit quicker. I just think we need that. Just to get ourselves a leg up. All right, we'll hold off on these for now. I actually should double check my cap space too. Which, by the by, is going down next season. You like that the tour center is maxed? Yeah, I did that quickly. It's... It was inexpensive and, and easy to do, and it gives us a, a good monthly income. The only time a team may break the cost cap is if they need to make an emergency purchase, but this will incur a fine. We've got 66 million left. I can't imagine we're going to be spending that. Let's see. 100. Yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll finish bef before the start of next season. So it's going to be, it, it's going to have an impact on next season's Upgrading. I like that. Oh. Alright, that is going to conclude our stream for the day. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't, haven't already done so, feel free to hit the follow button one time. So I can share on the YouTube end. And uh, we will see you guys again next time. Till then, later on, guys.